You fired up the grill, set up the badminton net. Oh, those dark clouds on the horizon. Don't check your phone. Your nose knows. Our noses can detect up to a trillion different scents, and many of them are tied deeply to memories and emotions, like your grandma's house, or your first dog, or the smell of rain. Storm winds carry an orchestra of separate smells, but the earthy odor that precedes a storm can be traced to three chemical sources. Before a thunderstorm, you're probably smelling ozone, which interestingly gets its name from the Greek word meaning to smell. Now, the electrical charge of lightning high up in approaching storm clouds splits oxygen gas into separate atoms, and some of those can reform into ozone. That ozone is swept ahead of the advancing storm by windy down drafts and down to your nose level. As rain begins to fall, a new smell springs from the soil, that pleasantly pungent perfume we call petrichor. Petrichor gets half its name from the ethereal essence that flowed through the veins of the Greek gods and half from the stones of the earth, which actually kind of captures its science and the powerful feels I get when I smell it. When decomposed organic material is blown airborne from dry soil, it lands on dirt and rocks where it's joined by minerals. And that whole mixture is cooked into this magical medley of molecules. Falling raindrops then send those chemicals airborne right into your nostalgic nostrils. And when there's no rain around, those same chemicals remain in the soil, where they signal plants to halt their roots from growing or prevent seeds from sprouting when there's no water to drink. Petrichor. It's for the plant that's tired of waiting to germinate. Bacteria in the soil also contribute to petrichor by releasing a chemical called geosmin. That's the same compound that gives beets their earthy flavor. We think there's other purposes for petrichor besides just showering us with emotion. It's thought to attract camels to desert oases who slurp up and then transport those soil bacteria across the sands. Petrichor that's washed into rivers and lakes also seems to signal fish that it's time to spawn. There's nothing like a rainstorm to spark a little romance, I guess. So next time you smell a summer storm coming, take a minute to think about what that rock over there is trying to tell you. Stay curious, and smell you later. Why are sharks so scary? Bloodthirsty beasts just waiting out there in the waves to feast on human flesh. If only we could get rid of these guys, our vacations would be so much safer. Nothing to worry about while we're surfing and frolicking out there in the ocean. Except that's not the case. Crimson, 11, delight, petrichor. Crimson, 11, delight, petrichor. Whoa.